Hi guys, uh, I thought I'd do a video, let you know that um, I was looking at the tank after it's going out some issues and uh, what's going on at the moment. Uh, and I noticed a few things that um, I thought I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on. Uh, basically, um, we're dosing, we're dosing two part now, we're do well not just two part, I lie. We're dosing magnesium and calcium. And the magnesium and calcium, I can see there's some effects going on now because um, as you can see around the rock here, uh, wait, I handle it perfectly. Uh, there, I don't know if you can see it, but there is some purple growth on the rock, um, and that is a good sign. That is a very good one. I actually show you on this side as well. There's a giant amount of purple growth on it as well. We're also getting some brown algae growth, as a little downer. Uh, I think the hermit crabs have picked up on the sign of algae growth because they've now started crawling on top of the rock and started farming the uh, land of the rock of the um, brown growth. Uh, I haven't fed the eel today. He isn't hungry. He hasn't gone down to his feeding corner where I feed him. He isn't hungry today. I've checked on him. He's just lying around in his cage, just minding his own business. I think that bit of food was a bit too much for him and he's a bit stuffed. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to clean his feeding bowl. I'm going to feed this. I'm going to clean his. Yeah, I'm going to clean his feeding bowl, his bowl, uh, and his tongs, and make him clean and tidy. Uh, defect, yeah, disinfect them and tidy him up. Uh, the tank's doing well. I've tried to clean up the glass a bit more today, but we're still, we're still see inside of it. Still got a bit of green gunk down here, but that's just going to take time. That's hard algae. It's going to take time to remove. Uh, all in all, it's all right. We're not doing that bad. Uh, I'm gonna get the scraper in there probably in the next couple of days and scrape the, the back of the tank and clean that up a bit. Um, we're gonna try and tidy up a bit more as well. Um, skin wise, um, we've got a fair bit of skin going at the moment, so the skin's roughly there at the moment. So we're doing well. We're, we're picking up a lot of dirt in the tank. What's a good sign? Uh, the filter floss is doing its job as well. What's a never good sign? Um, we, we've, on the dosing side of things, uh, we've losing, uh, we're losing, we've, we've dropped uh, quite a amount in the last couple of days in uh, calcium. Magnesium on the other hand, not so much, so uh, as soon as I get, uh, I've got a check that I got, but as soon as I put that check in, I'll be placing my order for some calcium as soon as possible and try to get this food filled up. But we are dosing 80 mil of uh, calcium uh, per day and there's only 40 of magnesium going in. Magnesium uh, hasn't really dropped, it hasn't really changed, it hasn't really done anything. It's just a little drip and then it's done. Calcium we need quite a lot because of the factor that there is more magnesium in the tank than there is calcium. I'm trying to dose more calcium in just to get at least a reading. I'm going to try and do a reading uh, in the next two weeks. I'm going to do a reading for calcium, see if we've got any readings. Uh, but we are, we are dosing a fair bit of calcium in the moment. Uh, we are doing well with calcium at the moment, so um, hold. Um, all in all, everything's doing well in the tank. We have no problems. Um, We've got some growth going on now. We've got some purple growing in the tank. Uh, it's just an effect of the calcium magnesium in the water. Uh, I'm planning on doing maybe a 5% more change. Uh, not a great deal more change. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this bucket up. So this bucket here uh, of a water change for volume and replace that with some fresh RO water, uh, just do a five percent. So maybe that's that's five percent water change. And then what we do, we do two buckets of that. That equals up to basically uh, two buckets of those. So that's what two of those are going to be ten. ten never two, uh, twenty. So we do. I'll do a twenty water percent change at the end of the month to lower the water down and to um, clean it up. Like what I don't do water changes through the sun. What I do is I I got a little thing on the side. I remove that out. I put it in the bucket and then I just do my water change that way. The water, the dirty water goes in. Then I rip, I throw the water into the sump. 
where the sun deals with it and then it pumps it into the tank. But the tank's doing well, we're doing all right, we're doing okay. Um, that's basically what I wanted to talk about today. It wasn't something fancy, it wasn't like, oh my god, we're getting this, oh my god, we're getting that. No, it's basically something really simple. Um, I understand the urge because knowing that I've got some money to put in the bank because I got a check in the post, what's well, lovely. And I've just chased it up and it is, it is legit. Um, I am tempted on going online and buying a ridiculous amount of coral and going, oh, I can buy this, oh, I can buy this, oh, I can buy this. Oh, look, posting's free. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I am really tempted. I'm not going to lie. But we're not ready. Um, we, we tried putting corals in not long ago. And what's happened? Uh, the green stock pod died. The coastal died. The uh, hammer coral died. And it wasn't because the water quality. It was nothing like that. I made a mistake. I got too impatient on dosing. I dosed too much in the tank. What made a crash happen? What made me have to do a 100% water change? What allowed the corals to die? If I just left it alone and kept the, let the salt do its job, just the standard salt I buy, do its job, and then uh, go buy that, yeah, sorted. But no, I, I didn't. I didn't do that. I, I, I was impatient and I started dosing it manually in massive cups of, of salt and magnesium. Thinking, oh, that's not going to be any harm. It did. It affected the front water and we killed coral rock. And that is my fault and that, that was my mistake. I've learned now not to be in this. I can't be impatient. I just got I can't expect results like that. I've got to take my time. Like I've done a nitro, I did a sugar dose two days ago. I'm going to another sugar dose today. And it's just not going to be two, it's going to be one, it's one teaspoon. One teaspoon of sugar in the sump, where it's going to do its job. I'm going to pour more rock out of the sump today, because we're trying to decorate this here today. I've got to do a few chores around the house. Aside from that, I'm going to try and make the tank more pretty. But we are on the right scratch, we are on the right way. I am thinking about getting a starfish, uh, one of these cool starfish where you know those like circular ones with the tentacles and they move about. Those ones, I think we're getting one of those because I would love to see it at the bottom of the sand bed on that bit of um, thing there with the tentacles going around like it's an octopus trying to break down the structure. I would love to see that. It wouldn't be able to do it because it's buried into the sands and it's supported around it. I'd also love to see it. Um, just because of the fact that it's, it'd be like something from a horror movie. It, you know, it's nice. Same as the eel, the eel is from, from a horror movie. You know, you think of this giant serpent from the sea coming out to eat you. I am thinking about trying to find like an old, like World War II boat, or some smash to put an ornament and put it in the sand and bury it in the sand. Or finding an old Viking uh, longboat that's all smashed up, put it in the sand. So the eel can go in and hide in there sometimes and go into the caves some other times. Just, 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 just for just for tits and giggles, just because it'd be fun. Um, but no, that's my idea. If you think that's a good idea, please put in the comments. Please go, go, go for a bit. Go, put, put, a, put an American war vessel what's, uh, had a torpedo hit and it sank, or put an old Viking war boat down there, or even better, put an old airplane what's crashed and it's just cemented into the into the rock where he can sliver in and then pops his head on the other end. You know. Um, but anyway, please like and subscribe, please comment, uh, I do look, look forward for your uh, comments on Facebook and YouTube, sometimes I get disappointed when no one comments on my videos. Uh, I will try to post another video tomorrow and try to find another subject I want to talk about, but um, our cleanup crew, we're not missing cleanup crew, what's good, because the eel should eat the cleanup crew, but I'm hoping to have more hermit crabs on top of rock here away at the bottom because he owns the bottom the eel owns the bottom but i want the hermit crabs to own the top i want to have shrimp and coral and all that at the top so i'm probably going to get probably three three more hermit crabs probably two shrimp and, and a starfish that'd be it just because i want something weird and wonderful in the tank weird and wonderful what's this going to move around the tank and clean it but please like subscribe please uh comment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.